How are you? How's it going? Who are you? My name is Cole. Cole Hi, Hallman. Cole. How's it going? Cole Hallman? Yeah. Because I never even really thought of doing American Idol, if I'm being honest. Uh, but I, I, I've been posting some stuff on TikTok, and one of the... One of the producers saw my TikTok. They have certain producers that like cast people from the internet. So they gave me a call. I did a Zoom audition and then I went to Nashville like a week later. So it was just very like spur of the moment. Well, I've had a very musical family growing up and music's always been like a really big part of my life and just something that like I've always done. Um, I've been singing since I was like three, maybe like really super young. So I was, um, I'm, currently going to school at Berkeley NYC um, in New York. Um, and I, at the time I was also going to school when I got the call. Um, and I got the call from one of the producers of the show who actually called me and said, Hey man, I've heard your song. Um, a song I wrote called we need more. Um, and he said, it's a beautiful song. And I was wondering, you know, he said, I was wondering if you would be willing to share your song, share the song that you wrote and the music that you create, like with, with the judges and with the world. I never thought that I'd be like auditioning for such a big show. So it's just cool that like I've actually gotten here because my grandmother like loves American Idol and she's been watching it for like years and years. And like when I was younger, she'd always be like, oh, like Cameron, like you should try out. And I'm like, oh, like maybe. And now that it's actually happening, it's just crazy. So when I was going, I wasn't even that nervous, really, because I haven't been thinking about it that much. But then I get there and everyone else is really nervous because a lot of people who are going there have been like waiting their whole lives to do this. Or So I started to get really nervous. And when you walk into that room, it's just like you just feel like you're going to throw up. <laughs> it's ooh, it's crazy. It's it's really crazy. I. I can tell you this, I uh, was so nervous to see Katy Perry's face, to see Luke Bryan's face. Seeing Lionel Richie was probably the most nerve wracking thing. Um, just because I, I grew up listening to his music. So um, with my grandfather. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's, I am speechless. When I saw them for the first time, I was, I was speechless. Like, yeah, I didn't even know what to think, and I was fumbling over my words, kind of like the way I am now. When did you think uh, maybe there's more to this than just a hobby? I had a, I had a moment on the internet on TikTok in May where I had a video get like two million views just like overnight. Like for the longest time, nobody listened to my music at all, other than like family, friends, and then that happened, and I was kind of like, oh, maybe I don't know, maybe there's some, maybe there's something here. I don't know. Is there a pinch me moment? Here's a show you've grown up watching. Now you're in it. Was there a moment where you thought, OMG, I'm actually part of something that I've been watching for so long, Cameron? I think definitely when I got to speak with Ryan Seacrest before I got to audition, we just had like a little conversation and it was just so like good vibes and like he's so nice. And I was just like, wow, like I've seen so many people talked to him before auditioning and now I'm talking to him before auditioning. So it was just so crazy. I know you're from California originally, but uh, mm -hmm. how did you get started and how would you describe your style? I got started singing at least when I was nine years old. Um, I was a little kid singing in the shower um, in La Palma, California. Uh, yeah, and I decided to do show choir and football when I was in high school. I was kind of that, I like to do, I like to do both things um but I really got into writing my own music and performing when I was in college um I had gone through a lot of things in college you know like uh mental health issues and lots of bouts of depression and loneliness um and writing kind of saved my life um so ever since college yeah I went to UC Irvine for undergrad and ever since then I've kind of been using music and writing as a means to live and then share that with the world. Talk us a little bit about your sister and that very special video that I saw with uh, her celebration. I understand that crowds can make her nervous. Me and my band, we played the Stone Pony for the first time the other night opening for somebody. And um, we, uh, it was Katie's birthday in the next week. So we brought her up on stage. We had her sing a song with us. We sang happy birthday, but Kate, yeah, Katie, um, 
Katie has special needs. She has a chromosomal deletion. So it's the exact thing that she has is pretty rare. Um, but she has a chromosomal deletion. And uh, she has like high social anxiety, um, especially in like loud areas. But when I play music, she's, she's, she loves, she loves music and she, you know, she loves our family. So when we all go out to see me play music, she really wants to come and be a part of it. So I'm happy to include her. And um, uh, yeah, she's, she's a rock star on stage. She, every, it's hard to follow it, honestly. Like we have to, if we're gonna bring Katie on stage, we have to end with it because then after that, nobody even wants to listen to us anymore. They just want to see Katie, so. What you want? Yeah. Louder, come on, you got it. You can't always get what you want. Yeah. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, we well, might find you get what you need. Let's go discover the next American Idol. You make them cry. You know what that special place is? It's Hollywood. Would you like to go? Take me to my happy place. American Idol returns Sunday on ABC and stream on Hulu.